one last little thing I thought I'd show you regarding slope fields um, is the following. Um, there's a couple of very typical examples. Uh, if we have this differential equation here, negative x over y, we separate the variables and we integrate both sides, what we get is the equation of a circle, right? x squared plus y squared is equal to, you know, r squared. Um, and so, you know, if I go ahead, I just want to show you the pictures, just so you'll have it in your mind. Um, but if I press the program slope field and I enter negative x divided by y into, you know, find so I went into enter dy dx and I put negative x divided by y. If I press 1 to draw the slope field, what you'll see is that this family of equations are circular or circles. Okay, so uh, anyway, you can do that on your calculator to have a little bit of fun. Um, that's just a classic example. The other one is positive x over y. So if I go back in and I enter dy dx, be positive x divided by alpha y and draw the field. Uh, you know, I could do it by hand like I did on the side here, and what I get is the equation of a hyperbola. I don't know if you remember that from algebra. I don't even know if they do hyperbolas anymore in algebra, but anyway, you'll notice this very distinct picture. And again, you know, I've got the plus c. I don't have an initial condition, so I don't know, you know, is it this hyperbola or that hyperbola or this one or that one? I don't know. Um, but it doesn't matter. This is a general solution, and that's what the picture would look like using, you know, the slope field function in your calculator. So anyway, in the event that you get a picture of a slope field, all you have to really do is just separate the variables, integrate, and try and figure out what the what the equation was. I wanted to bring this one up, the hyperbola, because again. I know parabolas are discussed, but I think they took uh, ellipses and all that other stuff out of the algebra curriculum. I could be mistaken. So I don't know if you even dealt with hyperbole or not um, in Algebra 2. So I just wanted to, you know, touch on that to refresh your memory uh, in the event that you see that one, or likewise this one here. I think this one you probably would have recognized a little bit more. The, the equal C might have thrown you instead of R squared. I'm not sure, but this right here is definitely the equation of a circle with the um, center at 0, 0. So um, anyway, you know, throw those into your calculator and play around, get a good look at them. And that's all I have to say. That's it for this section for your semester exam. You're good. You're golden. Done.